Excellent! What's up guys, welcome to Paul's Hardware. Today I am bringing you an unboxing video of the AMD Ryzen 7 1800X processor. This is actually the entire media reviewers kit that they were giving out to media. Uh, so people like myself who were at their recent event that they held in San Francisco. And they've also been shipping it to a bunch of independent reviewers as well for people who weren't able to uh, make it to that event or who weren't invited. I don't know why some people weren't invited. You can speculate on that in the comment section down below. But I don't do unboxing videos very often because I find that they don't really usually add a whole lot to the experience, but I found but this one was special. First off, it's my first unboxing of an actual Ryzen processor. Uh, it seems like a pretty impactful, pretty important launch going on right now. Everyone's talking about it, whether you're an Intel or an AMD fan, uh, it should help you out either way. Also, just to double check, I asked people over on Twitter um, if they'd be interested in an unboxing since we can't exactly show you the uh, benchmarks yet, so those are still under embargo. And the response was pretty much yes, yes. Yes, absolutely everyone. Everyone seems to want it to some degree or another. So thanks to all you guys who replied so quickly and diligently to my uh, tweet. And all that said, uh, here goes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start unboxing this thing. Uh, now just to be clear, this was available to me when I was up in San Francisco. And uh, I, actually, I actually told AMD that I was gonna hand carry it. But then I, didn't, I forgot that Kyle and I we also, had also decided to do the live show up there. This is this is a challenge. Uh, and so I brought a bunch of live show streaming stuff, and that ended up meaning that I didn't have enough time to bring this back. So um, thankfully, AMD, being the good people that they are, said, don't worry, we will ship it to you. And it arrived just, just yesterday. And maybe if you're surprised that I haven't opened it yet, um, it's, well, I was mowing the lawn again yesterday. I didn't make a video of mowing the lawn this time, though, so there it is. So, apart from lots of bubble wrap, in here we've got uh, we've got an Octua cooler, uh, the NHU12S, and this one is actually a special AMD AM4 press kit edition. So we'll see what makes that special. And then we've got the actual thing. And there it is. Okay, enough of that. Uh, all right, so so the box that they made is uh, is pretty nice actually. It, this is walnut. It is, um, from my understanding, they trained uh, small little like nanobots uh, using Ryzen technology. I believe with the sense that's what the sense of my thing can do the artificial intelligence to burrow in here and uh, specifically carve out the AMD Ryzen logo, uh, which is in there. Looking, looking pretty nice. This is real. This is real walnut too, by the way. They went all out with this one. Um, not like, it's not like particle board or anything like that. Handles on top, um, and then of course we got a latch and a hinge. So, th so this is the uh, NHU12SE Special Edition, and uh, it's a tower style cooler from Noctua, so probably nothing you guys haven't seen before. All nickel plated, so uh, got kind of a nice silver finish. All black Noctua fan. Hey, I think that's actually what makes this special. I keep running over those, it's gonna be awful. Yeah, so this is a uh, AM4 press kit version, which it says right there. Press kit edition, which has an NFF12 industrial PPC2000. So the industrial version of the NFF12, which is all black. That's, that's pretty nice, actually. So that also, of course, comes with the AM4 mounting kit right there. And uh, that should allow us to install an AM4 motherboard, at least I hope. Uh, it's got the uh, thermal, thermal paste and all that good stuff in there too. All right, you guys have probably seen CPU coolers before, so let's move on. So here is uh, the box itself, the main event. Let's open the latch. I'm expecting there to be a, 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 some sort of light that appears or something like that. Voices of angels. So this is the 1800X, and this is the one that most of the reviewers have been getting, at least um, from the ones who I have talked to. There are 1700s and 17Xs going out as well, um, but I am not gonna be ch checking out the 1700 until launch day itself when I'm gonna go pick up the one that I pre-ordered. 
Um, so got the side window as you might have uh, seen before with other CPU boxes. And this one doesn't seem like it comes with a cooler. In it. I don't feel a cooler in there, but I mean, thankfully they sent one. But, uh, I don't know. All right, so just a little insert there. Are you ready for Ryzen? Yes. Yes, I am. I uh, should be now. And just in case you're wondering, this box was handcrafted by Woodchuck USA uh, through their Buy One Plant One program. So probably sustainable walnuts, I guess, would be my assumption there. They have also included some memory because you are going to need DDR4 memory to go along with Ryzen. They have included a Corsair Vengeance LPX kit, 16 gigs, 2 by 8 gigs, uh, 3000 megahertz is the speed on that. Uh, and I really like this RAM because it's just, it gets the job done, it's black, there's black PCBs, it's low profile, uh, and it works, it's functional. And since it's uh, Corsair, it tends to get validated with a lot of the third-party partners that are out there very quickly. Finally, of course, we have a motherboard, and um, I happen to have gotten the Oris A370X Gaming 5. I'm sorry, AX370 Gaming 5, right here. So uh, this motherboard, uh, well, AM4 of course, X370 chipset. If you want to overclock Ryzen, you need an X370 chipset or a B350 chipset. Beyond that, I have still uh, not memorized all of the different uh, Ryzen uh, AM4 uh, chipsets that are out there because there's lots of different ones of them. It's confusing. I'm still just getting all the names of the three CPUs that they've confirmed down in my head. But there is that motherboard. Oh, look at that mounting solution. Mounting solution's like already on it there. I wonder if that was pre-mounted from the kit or what? Or if, that, if that's just how the motherboard comes. Motherboard does have a back plate. Uh, here's a look at the socket itself. Socket actually, to me, is more reminiscent of like FM2 because it's got that gap in the middle. Uh, but of course the pin layout is, is very different and everything. Labeled socket AM4, still a, a PGA or pin grid array socket. So you still have pins on the CPU itself. Uh, and then Oris, well, Gigabyte width, since this is an Oris board, has made it fancy with stuff like steel reinforced slots and they got LEDs going on in there. Uh, the LED strip going down the side, these are all RGB. Uh, and then I believe there, yes, there is an RGBW header on the motherboard as well, so you can connect up your RGB lights and uh, get all your, your RGB goodness going on, because Lord knows there's not enough of that available on the market as is. All right, let's actually get to it and open the <laughs> The processor itself. This feels so momentous. It feels so, so important right now. So, um, here it is. It's my first, first Zen CPU that I have unboxed. Also nice, I will point out, just to, just to draw this out even further, uh, they've got retail boxes going for this. I have received early samples and engineering samples of products from uh, tech companies in a wide variety of formats. They can come from anything like this, which is completely labeled, logo, printed retail box sample, it's sealed, it has a serial number, to literally like a cardboard box with like some random foam pieces in there, and then like just the part, like a graphics card or something, and just an anti-static bag with nothing else, <laughs> nothing else beyond that. It looks like, you know, it's sold through the gray market or something like that. But this one is fully legit. Now again, I'm not sure uh, at this point, although it should be confirmed, I'm sure very soon, uh, if this is gonna uh, ship with a cooler or not. It, there, it's labeled here, no heatsink fan included. It's also labeled not for resale though, so these might be slightly different than the retail samples that you guys are getting uh, at the actual, well, whatever retailer that you happen to go with. Uh, just the CPU in there, little, 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 oh, do you, do you get a sticker? Is there a sticker? I don't see a sticker. Stickers seem to have gotten passe these days. I do still have an old collection of stickers. Processor though, in its own little printed case by itself. There's the clamshell. And here is, oh, my 1800X. It's not quite in pristine condition, I will point. I, will, I don't know if you guys can tell. This does look like it's been perhaps used a little bit, but um, I imagine these early samples uh, they probably did at least a little bit of testing with, perhaps, maybe, I don't know, maybe they've been them, maybe they gave me the special one that's going to overclock better than all the other ones out there. That's always a possibility. And finally, the, uh, so, so yeah, I guess, I guess that's really all there is to show. Um, I do want to point out that AMD's also done etching of the Ryzen logo on the top of the CPU itself, which I also think is a nice touch. 
Um, you can see not just the SKU of whatever CPU you have, whether it's 1800X, 1700X or 1700, that's what's confirmed so far. Uh, you also got the AMD Ryzen logo on there. And you know, it's, it's, you're not gonna see it, except when you install the processor, but it's still kinda nice. It's, it's, like, a, it's like a step up, you know. It's a, step, it's a step in the right direction. It's good branding, I guess, is what it would come down to. So guys, I am now going to install this, and then I'm going to start benchmarking the snot out of it, and I will be bringing you guys that information as soon as I am able to share it with you. I'm going to be comparing this to the system back there, which has a 6850K in it, which is the um, closest in price to this processor Intel CPU, I guess, other than the 6800K, but I don't have a 6800K. 6850K, uh, and then also compare it to the 7700K, just so we can get a bit more instructions per clock comparison uh, between the Zen architecture and the KB Lake architecture that Intel is currently running on, at least in the mainstream. Uh, guys, though, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. More Ryzen stuff coming at you very soon. Hit the thumbs up button on your way out. Uh, thanks to all you guys again who responded to my tweet, and uh, we'll see you next time. Have a good one.